It's a bit on the wet side today. And guess what I've got to do? <laughs> I have to go to the post office before two o'clock. I think I might need to take my umbrella, don't you? I've been on the phone to my mum this morning for 50 minutes and that was very nice indeed having girly chats and sorting out online food shopping as well. Izzy's been doing her maths for a couple of hours. She's got stuck on a couple. Uh, I said flag them because when we eventually get our tutor back we'll know exactly what you struggled with and she said no, I am going to try harder. So <laughs> Izzy taking a very long time to do her maths is carrying on but at the moment she's just got her eye on 100% <laughs> I don't know where she's got that from because I never was like that I just you know passing enough to get on to the next stage was always enough for me <laughs> when I was her age but no uh, she's uh she's got determined and I'm very pleased actually it's just hope that she doesn't get crippled by perfectionism because I think being really perfectionist can be a bit debilitating and a bit damaging sometimes if perfect becomes the only way to feel you've done enough you know because it's striving for the impossible all the time and then it's like just normal is not okay if you know what I mean perfectionism has pros and cons I started a new puzzle look what I had to resort to the puzzle is now closed because it's literally coming past and every time I was looking at it and getting back into it and it's the day I've got things to do but this is the one I'm on anyway which was from Pippa from the Worms Eye View channel she posted it to me Izzy's biology is independent work today which I printed off yesterday you might remember so I'll organize that and get it ready for her to do after her lunch at this moment it's just gone 12 30 which is our official lunch time at this home school we're not that picky with precise timings isabel is more so than me these days we've had a role reversal there as well i'm kind of debating whether to have lunch before going to the post office or just a snack and have lunch when i get back i think i might have fruits and nuts maybe that's what i'm gonna do and then i'll have food properly when i get back yes I need to use this melon up actually. It was an expensive one I think from a, a local greengrocer and it's extra ripe so it definitely needs eating up. I think I'll make two fruit salads and leave one for Izzy to have when she fancies it. <laughs> I've just been looking at my little sort of dessert sized bowls thinking they're not really very adult looking <laughs> but they work so and there's only two of us so we're just going with it. Finished! How's your fruit salad? It's yummy. Good. How are you today, Is? Okay. You're not letting me pass. I know. Forced interview. <laughs> I'm gonna get this right then. <laughs> so, here we go again. Post office attempt number two. I suppose at least it looks a bit different in the rain and sounds different. <laughs> you know, I like to try to keep the content varied. Getting my steps up again. Ever wonder what dog poo is in Welsh? Well, there you are, Balcoon. Apparently, there's been flooding in South Wales today in certain areas. Not mine, though, I haven't been affected. Well, there are less people out and about today, anyway. I really like the pattern the rain makes when it goes down the gutters. Am I strange? <laughs> I really do, though. It fascinates me. Day. Nice. Yes, that was a nappy on the pavement. What a day. Let's hope this post office is open today, eh? I'm done. I've still got my mask on. I'll take it off now. This mask has got a number one written on it in Sharpie, and I will tell you more about that later. Here's something I haven't missed. <laughs> McDonald's wrappers everywhere. 
McDonald's has opened again for drive through and oh we know <laughs> by the state of the streets. I'm back, it's just gone two o'clock, I've washed my hands and all that stuff. Lunch, shock, horror, oh the shame of it, it's gonna be a ready meal. I have randomly lost my vlogging night, I can't find it anywhere. It's most bizarre, I've looked in every room in the house including the cellar. It's not in there. Under the light bulb it is then, <laughs> it'll turn up. Izzy's coming down the stairs. Izzy has emerged. Oh, there's me getting a message. She wants paper. Okay, I'm, I'm moving, I'm moving. Bye. Bye! Yeah, when I went to Tesco's the other night for compost, I picked up a couple of frozen ready meals that were really cheap and the ingredients looked okay actually. So I thought, well, we'll just have them for emergencies, but I forgot they didn't have any room in the freezer. So I've had them in the fridge, so we just need to eat them really. I'm not sure how long to give it in the microwave because it's not from frozen, it's from chilled. I'd say that's done. It's very mozzarella-y. It's a bit too sweet for me. I don't like um, like sweet, savoury food. I like sweet food and I like savoury food, but I don't like the mixture. So I probably won't buy that for myself again. Izzy's had um, a spaghetti bolognese one with meat. I've eaten, that was okay. Quite nice, made a change anyway, something I didn't cook myself because, you know, my cooking does kind of all taste like my cooking. <laughs> it's nice to have a change. I've got 15 minutes until doing history with Isabel today. And then she's got a Zoom class after that. So I'm just trying to decide what to do with my 15 minutes. I have got clean the bathroom on my list, but Izzy's in the bathroom. So that's no good. Could wipe my bins. <laughs> this is something I want to do. My bins have got grubby. Just the tops. A bit, I don't know, just a bit dusty and grubby. I'll do that. And then grubbiness. Oh, <laughs> might need two hands for this. I think I might have to put the camera down. <laughs> okay, I give up. Look at all that muck. Well, that's looking a lot brighter and better. That took approximately 120 seconds, maybe 180. I'm making coffee to sip whilst doing history. I now have eight minutes and I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to respond to some of your comments for eight minutes. It's about half past four now. I've just finished reading history to Izzy for about an hour. She's gone off upstairs because she's got a Zoom class and after that she's gonna play Roblox online with one of her friends somehow and uh, I've gone really sleepy now. I think I'm going to embrace my tiredness by having a little break, a drink and a snack and then crack on with some flute practice before it gets too late and then cook dinner, the usual thing. But I'm gonna edit the footage that I've got so far as well. That kind of counts as a break because I just enjoy it so much I get all excited. <laughs> So yeah, when I say a break, I'm gonna have a break to edit everything I've filmed so far. I'm back, it's about half past five now. I've thoroughly enjoyed editing that. I've just taken this cod out of the freezer. I don't know if it will be defrosted in time to cook it for tea, but we'll see. I still have all this rice left over from yesterday. So I think I'm gonna fry it up with egg stirred in for egg rice, which is something I never do actually, but I'm just gonna have a go. And lots of sauteed, very, smallly chopped up vegetables and maybe some frozen peas so it's like a sort of an exciting vegetable rice with whole cooked fish on the side I'm gonna wrap it in foil and do the fish whole in the oven and hopefully it will cook and be defrosted in time and of course before that I'm gonna go down in flute cave and practice for a bit <laughs> look what was nestled on my bookshelf in the cellar my vlogging light I looked down here earlier and I must have walked straight past it. Oh, it's probably cold down here at the moment. I'm gonna put the fan heater on again and just blast hot air at my legs while I'm playing for a bit. <laughs> Today's cellar discovery is this, written by my mum's dad's brother decades and decades and decades ago. It's a photocopy and I nagged him by letter to send me some when I was doing my music degree and he did. He's long since departed now unfortunately but he did live right into his 90s I believe 
So this is something he composed probably when I was a child. He played the mandolin when I was too young to be able to play with him, so we didn't quite cross over with our sort of folky musiciness. But I'll have a go at his tune now and bring it to life. I have no idea what speed this is supposed to be, so I'm just going to play it however I think. <laughs> Ralph's tune is going on the trad to keep pile, trad as in traditional. I've got a classical to keep pile, but classical's a bit of a a loose term because this is not classical because it is messian and it's not strictly written in the classical period. It's what I would call art music, but I think everybody else just calls it classical, don't they? And that's my set list pile there. You see, I quite often make a set list where I just write the first bar out of each section just if I'm in a gig situation, I can glance down and just quickly check how the tune actually goes because I'm terrible for remembering what tunes are called and how they start. And I'm going to play these again. I did play them yesterday. I was a bit half-hearted because I was tired and hungry, so I'm going to have another go at those and decide whether to actually keep them or not. Oh, look, I got this one in a session in Sidmouth Festival. I used to go to festivals with a little tape recorder. Yes, a tape recorder with actual tape. This is pre-digital. It's like a handheld... Walkman really but it recorded and it had a little speaker on it as well so you didn't need headphones for it and uh, yeah I used to record the sessions and then I'd take them home and throughout that week I would transcribe all the tunes that I liked and wanted to learn and write them out and learn them and then by the next time I went to play with those people again I would know their repertoire <laughs> maybe not all of it you know but some a week's worth of learning anyway so like in this folder here I've got like the name of the like, uh, let, me, let me just show you so like for instance I will say who I got it off and the date and sometimes I wrote which pub I was at things like that uh, some of them I just got off recordings look <laughs> it's all separated by type of tune that's how much time I had in the old days before having a child yeah it's ten past seven now. I've finished practicing and I'm about to start cooking. Do you know what? I was trying to record some tunes for IB. That's probably him replying. Just like a video to him. Just, you know, because he's a traditional music player as well. And as soon as I start to film myself, any feel goes out of the music. I stiffen up and it's something... I could dwell on it, I could feel like a total failure. I've been playing for decades and I still can't play in front of a camera. But you know what, it gets me to an extent when I'm performing live as well, if I'm not 100% comfortable with the repertoire, if I haven't learned it like absolutely inside out. So I really need to work on this. I need to not get depressed about it, not let it make me lose my confidence and knock me down. I've just got to play more on camera. I mean, I was fine for you lot, because that was a really simple piece, and I was just reading it off the page anyway. <laughs> right, I'm going to cook Izzy's dinner, and my dinner as well, obviously. Here's dinner so far. The fish is in the oven in foil, and here's what's in my frying pan. Mushrooms, broccoli, red peppers, and some green beans that are chopped up really small. I need this to kind of wilt down a bit, and then I'm going to add leftover rice, and to sort of stir some egg into it. I think that's how they make egg fried rice. I'm just going to chuck eggs in and stir it up and hopefully it works. It's refusing to cook quick enough so I've put a lid on it. I've added mixed herbs, soy sauce and some butter actually, well the pack, to that and it's really smelling very good and I'm going to experiment in a minute by just chucking an egg in and stirring it in. I've egged, I reckon it's done, time to serve up. Ta-da! There's Izzy's din-dins all served up and I'm going to have the same. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!